Goliners Aereus Intelligence SA, Goal Intelligent Airlines SA, also known as VRG Liners Aereus SA B3, GOLL3, GOLL4, NYSE, Gol is a Brazilian airline based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. According to the National Civil Aviation Agency of Brazil (ANAC), between January and December 2017, Gol had 36.2% of the domestic and 10.8% of the international market shares in terms of passengers per kilometer flown, making it the largest domestic and third largest international airline in Brazil. Gol competes in Brazil and other South American countries with Chilean Latam Airlines Group, Brazilian Azul, and Colombia-based Avianca Holdings SA. It also owns the brand Varig, although now that name refers to what is informally known as the new. Varig, founded in 2006, not to the extinct, old, Varig Airline, founded in 1927. Gol operates a growing domestic and international scheduled network. Its main hubs are São Paulo Garrelas International Airport, Rio de Janeiro Galeão International Airport and Tancredo Neves International Airport near Belo Horizonte. Gol also has focus operations at Rio de Janeiro Santos Dumont Airport, São Paulo Congonas Airport, Salgado Filo International Airport in Porto Alegre, Gol refers to itself as Gol Intelligent Airlines Gol Liners Aereus Intelligence in Portuguese as a slogan. The company is traded on the New York Stock Exchange as Gol Liners Aereus Intelligence SA. The company's name is a Brazilian Portuguese and Spanish word borrowing from the English word Gol from association football. Topic: History Early years The airline was established in 2000 and started operations on January 15, 2001 with a flight from Brasilia to São Paulo. It is a subsidiary of the Brazilian conglomerate Grupo Aurea, based in Minas Gerais State, which has other transportation interests, including Brazil's largest long-distance bus company. Grupo Aurea in turn is owned by the Constantino family. Constantino Jr. was responsible for building the business next to the vice president of the company, David Barioni. On June 24, 2004, Gol launched simultaneous initial public offerings on the New York and Sao Paulo stock exchanges. In 2007, Gol was owned by Aeropar Participacos, 75.5%, Venture, 17.6%, American International Group, 5.4%, and Air France KLM, 1.5%. The growth in Gol's stock price made the Constantino family a member of the Forbes magazine billionaire list in 2005. In 2007, Gol was supposed to begin a code share agreement with TAP Portugal, opening the European market to the Brazilian airline, and the internal Brazilian market to the Portuguese airline the largest foreign airline in Brazil. Instead, TAP Portugal chose to cooperate with TAM Airlines TAM On February 24, 2010 Gol announced to be in advanced talks to join One World Alliance, which would allow it to catch up with rival TAM, a recent member of Star Alliance. However, on October 6, 2010, the airline announced a change in position by denying any interest in joining an alliance, preferring to remain independent and to establish a patchwork of code-sharing agreements. Following this trend, on September 28, 2011 Gol and Aerolineas Argentinas announced the intention to implement a codeshare, feeder and frequent flyer programs agreement on a date yet to be announced and pending approval from the governments of Brazil and Argentina. On March 18, 2010 Gol unveiled the expansion of its maintenance base located at Belo Horizonte, Confines, Tancredo Neves International Airport. Originally opened in 2006 with the capacity to service 60 aircraft per year mainly Boeing 737 and 767, the expansion allowed Gol to increase the number to 120. Gol later started also using the base to service aircraft from other airlines, and as of 2013 it also serviced airplanes from Azul Brazilian Airlines and Copa Airlines. On December 23, 2010, Gol Airlines started an operational partnership with Brazilian carrier Passaredo Linas Aereus. The agreement was rescinded on July 31, 2014, when Passaredo established a similar interline agreement with TAM Airlines instead. On December 7, 2011, Gol announced the intention of Delta Airlines to purchase 3% of its shares. The agreement also includes the creation of mutual code share flights, alignment of frequent flyer benefits, and transfer of Gol's Boeing 767's lease agreements to Delta. On October 1, 2012, Gol confirmed a firm order of 60 Boeing 737 Maxes. References did not specify the type of MAX aircraft. On October 6, 2012, Gol started seasonal operations to Miami and Orlando, available for Smiles account holders and originating in Brazil only. 
Technically, they are considered charter flights, although they are not necessarily part of an inclusive tour package. The use of miles or miles plus money is mandatory, as well as a minimum seven day stay at the destination. In February 2014, Air France KLM announced it would invest $100 million in Gol Liners Aereis Intelligence in advance of the 2014 FIFA World Cup and the 2016 Olympics. Some disagreement exists as to whether Gol is a low cost carrier. In 2014, Gol was ranked the second best low cost airline in South America after Azul. Gol refers to itself as a low-cost carrier, but it is increasingly not regarded as such. According to UFRJ specialist Elton Fernandez, Gol's costs are not very different from those of TAM Airlines. People are accustomed to calling Gol low-cost, but Gol is not that. It is not even low fare anymore. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Purchase of Varig. On March 28, 2007 Gol officially purchased part of the assets of VARIG, VRG Linas Aereis, informally known as the New Varig, a new company that owned the Varig brand, for $320 million from Volo Group and Matlin Patterson Global Opportunities Hedge Fund. At that time, the Old Varig was under bankruptcy protection. Gol announced that the Varig brand would continue doing business operating as such, rather than its official name VRG Linas Aereis. The transaction, via its GTI subsidiary, required a $98 million cash payment, with the balance through the allocation of non-voting shares to VARIG Logistica and Volo, which had acquired VARIG in June 2006 for $24 million. The transaction did not involve the original airline, informally known as, "...Old Varig", which continued to exist until its own bankruptcy in mid-2010 under the name Flex Linas Aereis. In 2009 Goal was merged into VRG Linas Aereis. VRG Linas Aereis thus became an airline that operates two brands, Gol and Varig, although in reality flights are operated only under Gol flight numbers. Initially, the Varig brand operated to medium haul scheduled and charter international destinations within South America and to the Caribbean with Boeing 737 700s configured in two classes, and to long haul charter international destinations in North America, Europe, and Africa with Boeing 767 300 ERS configured in economy only. The latter were also used in wet lease operations. This scheme was later dropped. The brand Gol operates most of the flights of the network, and had aircraft configured in all economy class, used for scheduled domestic and international operations within South America. Because of contractual obligations, between 2006 and 2009 the new Varig VRG Linas Aereis was obliged to purchase a minimum of 140 hours per month of services from the old Varig Flex Linas Aereis. Therefore, at that time, some of VRG Linas Aereis flights operated with Gol flight numbers but were actually flown with chartered aircraft from Flex Linas Aereis. The agreement ceased before the bankruptcy of Flex on August 20, 2010. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Purchase of Webjet Linas Aereis. On July 9, 2011, VRG Linas Aereis, owner of the brands Gol and Varig, announced the intention to purchase full control of Webjet Linas Aereis. The purchase contract was signed on August 2, 2011. On October 10, 2012 the purchase received its final approval with some operational restrictions from the Brazilian regulatory agency. Services were integrated but both companies continued to operate independently for some weeks. Integration started on October 17, 2012 when sales requested via Webjet's web portal started to be redirected to Goal's site. However, on November 23, 2012 Webjet abruptly ceased to operate and all services were incorporated by Goal. The Webjet brand ceased to exist. Goal also announced its intention to return all of Webjet's Boeing 737-300s to lessors until the end of the first quarter of 2013. There was no mention to the fate of Webjet's 737-800s. Topic Destinations Topic Codeshare Agreements Goal has codeshare agreements with the following airlines. Topic Fleet Topic Current fleet As of December 2018, the fleet of Gold Transportes Aereos, consists of the following aircraft. Former fleet
Topic: <laughs> Airline Affinity Program. Smiles is Gold Varig's frequent flyer program since July 20, 2006. Points can be used for services from Gol, Varig, and partners Aerolineas Argentinas, Aeromexico, Air Canada, Air France, Alitalia, Copa Airlines, Delta Air Lines, Emirates, Etihad, KLM, Qatar Airways and TAP Air Portugal, including flights, upgrades, holidays, hotel stays and car rentals. Smiles was part of the ''New Varig'' package bought by Gol, which honored all miles and eventually became its own frequent flyer program. Previously, Goal had no such program. On a study conducted in 2011, Smiles ranked third among 24 chosen frequent flyer programs, with 97.1% success of requests made. In 2013, Smiles was spun off as an independent company, eventually leading to its IPO at BOVESPA in April 2013. Topic: <laughs> Incidents and accidents. On September 29, 2006, Flight 1907 operated by Boeing 737-800 SFP registration PRGTD, disappeared from radar while flying over the central western state of Mato Grosso en route from Manaus to Brasilia and Rio de Janeiro Galeão. The aircraft collided in mid-air with an Embraer Legacy 600 business jet, registration N600XL, near the town of Matupa, 470 miles south of Manaus. The Gol aircraft broke up in mid-air and crashed in the Amazon jungle, leaving no survivors among its 154 occupants. The wreckage was found a day later. The legacy jet landed safely at Cachimbo Airport, part of the Brigadeiro Veloso test range of the Brazilian Air Force, with damage to the tail and left winglet. <laughs> 